Guess where I am today. Glencoe. With ski resort. I'm not taking a lift, I'm taking a hard way. I'm going to do a crease in its neighbour today. Heading my way up to Crease. I want to try and do a wild camp up there. Uh, of course, a steep pole this. Should have got a lift. Luckily, I've had no bikes coming down on top of me. Radical. I just do not know how people cycle down here. I'd be dead for sure if I came down here on a bike. Every way up. Two or three deer just over there. I'll try and zoom in on the video so I can see them. Just feeding away, not bothered by me. Oh, it's great. There's a big buckle. Always looks great. Glen go, man. Does it again. Oh dear, what clocking me. <laughs> Not too bothered, must get lots of people coming up here. Anyway, I need to get up here. Whew, what time is it now? It's quarter to three. Back to time. Local wildlife. This is Portugal Boulder Field. This is sad, eh? I can guarantee if he stood still for a wee while, he'd get a bit cold. Ski a sign there. No skiing down there. Looks like I'm not far off of something now. Probably back a bit early, this is magical view, isn't it? Radic well. King's house right over the distance here. Eh? Superb. Oh, into the abyss. Well, lots of views disappearing. God, this gravel path seems to go on forever. Disappearing now. Hopefully, I'll get some more sometime, but I'm not holding my breath. Hey, get up. There you go, summit number one. Fantastic. Well, 
ahead on the way down off that one. Try and get across this wee ridge, joins up to get onto the crease. Hopefully there's a camping spot over that side. There's not much over this side. It's supposed to get quite narrow, so keep an eye where the path is. It's supposed to be fantastic when you can see it clear here. There you go. Another bit hole. If you get out of the wind tonight though. It's all flappy, we'll be giving it some tonight. If you don't know what flappy is, that's my tent. It's your nickname. Hope this is the right way. Oh, we were scrambling coming down there, Not, nothing too bad that. Just be careful on your own. Twist your ankle, you're knacked. Now, it's working way along this ridge and up the other side. And then hopefully there's a cabin spot up there. Trying to clog that. It's a bit higher up in here, isn't it? Going down the wee valley there. I'm going to get this tent up before it starts to rain here. If it looks like I'm going to get a maybe get a two run one rose done tonight. I've just got to walk myself back out here in the morning. Oh, I'm going to put you down, it's a bit clear, it's a bit dodgy along here, like, to see what it's like. Stand on a great big stone, you expect it to stay there and move. Oh, look at that man, great. Bro, man. All right, let me get down on that bit in the green bit down the bottom there and I'll start heading up, I'll bring it back, just because it's a bit dodgy. Sheer drop by the side a bit. Well, that's when you drop down to the barlick between the two of them. There's a couple I just met walking up. Where's the sunshine? I said, Scotland, you don't get sunshine. Well, we did last week, tell a lie. Well, there's not many spots here for a tent either. There's a little, little wee, nice, nice flat wee square here, be great. Get yourself up here, find a wee spot, got your spot up there. Well, that's where I've just come down. Look, I've just little penciled this spot in here. Eh? Looks pretty good. I mean, it looks like it might get a bit wet, but I'm not expecting tons of rain. We've had loads of rain the last day, so it's not that wet now. It's not, it's pretty flat. I think I've got rock there, rock there, but I've got all this here, all this here with no rocks, or even here even. Yeah, I'm going to go for this. If there's nothing up there, I'm going to come back here. Let's get up here. I don't think crease is too much of a battle once you get up here, just like a little ridge walk. But, Hopefully I can get water up here. This is gonna be a bit of a problem. Because I can see water below but it's not it's like sheer drop. 
It's not like you can just nip down and get it and come back up. Oh, I'll be drinking whiskey and coke for my breakfast. Well, I might as well get water out of there. I'm going to filter it now. I should think it's from the weekend's rain, but I'm going to filter it. I think after last week, that had been dried up. All right, last bit, get myself up here. Oh, I'm looking forward to a cup of coffee. Oh, it's more, it's awesome, isn't it? <sighs> Happy days. <sighs> All right, that's me pushing out again to this ridge. Looks a bit rocky, bit of a climb. Mist is rolling in. Comes and goes. I made it up. I need to set a rock to tell you where to go back down. So when you walk back along, you'll see them and start heading home. I think it's right for Chris. Pretty positive. Oh, there's not many uh, green spaces up here. But I'll have a look about. It's pretty flat going over there. I'll get back over there and let's have a look, see if there's anything up near Greece. Right, let's get walking along here. Well, that's my tent set up. Good as spot as any. I've not any tea yet. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna walk up to the crease. It keeps clearing up there. You might get a view. I think this is gonna be the, t the tail of the night. I think. But I'm gonna walk up to crease here and get any views. So there's a guy singing up there. Oh, black saying. I've got to use my phone now. My GoPro's packed up. So it was too cold. I'm cold if it's good for Scotland because honest to God, that's twice I've been out now and it freezes up. Not a bad evening. I've had a little raid around the air as the supermarket on Morrison's one or two, and I'm, now I'm having delightful preparation of lentils cooked with fragrant spices and special North Indian style. Now it's said to stick in the pan with boiling water for three minutes. So it's one and a half minutes in the microwave. So we're going to see what that's like. But it's food, it should be good. So I'll get this down, you know, I'm going to try and head back up there with my GoPro this time, because I've got a new battery in it. And uh, see if we get some views. Should do. See you in a bit. Well, I'll get that again. 
but be careful how you spit in the bag though, because I've made a bit of an arse of it and I've got it. Oh, it's going to end up with yellow hands. It's everywhere. But aye, I'll get that again. I'll have that, maybe have that on Friday for a meal. At home even. Well, I need us a couple of naan breads, a bit of chicken in there, that'll be, that'll be glorious. Well tasty, well recommended. I think it's Asda's. If not Morrison's, but I'm sure it's Asda's. Anyway, I'll get back down to the tent, come and tidy up. Well, yeah, I'm going to tidy up, make it a draw now, see how it goes. Just left me ten, all mile away towards the way I came up. Got about an hour and a half to sunset. I thought if I try and get up the other mile or whatever it is up that way, it's not a Munro, but I'll do it while I'm here. The Rannock Moor lighting up a bit. Cool as man. The crease up there. I'll have a little walk along here. I'm gonna have to keep putting this away now because the cold's getting to it. It's just killing the batteries. So I'll bring it back a bit later on. Ah, oh, it's actually tremendous. There's a real ridge I walk down there. Up to here. Rannock Moor in the distance. Superb. Oh, right, that's it. Crease Clack Litard. 3,604 feet. Not classed as a one rock, I think it's too near Crease. Still a good walk there. It's got the best cane on it, it's got a better cane in the boom crease. Nice and high. I don't know how many people have had a shelter on that. Oh, superb. No ridge of walking that. I need to get back to the tent and get up crease or the crease has disappeared like it might go away. Aye, that's it anyway. Superb. Right, I'm heading back down to the tent and I'm gonna go up crease. Take all my camera gear up. Might even take a bevy. 
catch you trying to get down this because it's quite rocky. Welcome way back. Love the way the old top sticking up like that. Just love it when it's like that. Little silhouettes. Well cool. Couple of ravens up there, giving a hill. Full actually. Well that was a good wee jaunt. I'm pleased I've done it. Ah, oh, that's been fine. It's not Monroe, but it was a good wee walk. Making some cracking good views up there when the it's clear. There's the old tent. Yippee. All right. Plan now, just have a wee rest. I'm going to get up, get myself up creased for the sunset. But yeah, well, I might clear. If I stay down here and it does start to clear, I'll be disappointed. Well, that's me approaching the summit of Crease the second time around. Every time I come up here, I come up a different path. I find the path eventually. <sighs> uh, the rock's still there, I put on it earlier. But I don't think it's going to clear. I'm going to stay up here for a while. I'll sit up here for a while, see if anything happens. Probably not, but you never know. Right, bring it back later. You remember the film Castaway with Tom Hanks and he's got his old coconut? Well, I've got my wee pal up here, it's called Ken. K Ken the Ken. He's not very big, but we're the only one up here, I'll stand up talking to him. <laughs> well, sunset's not going to happen as you can see. That's my rear rock arrangements up there where when I came up earlier. I had to bounce my mobile phone on it and take a picture of me on the can. That's my GoPro packed up. Yeah. It's not gonna clear. Anyway, got me vod got me vodka and coke. So I'm just sitting here chillaxing. I'm going to wait up here till it nearly gets dark and start heading back because it's a bit, the terrain's a bit, it's like this all the way back, it's all big storms and I don't fancy doing this in the dark. Well, I walked a bit further along to the end. You can go down this way as well, like it's hoping it might clear, but if anything's got worse, I really need to get back to the tent while I can still see it. It's got reflective strips on it, so I'll be able to shine a torch on it. Uh, get back to this summit, pick my bag up, find my way back to the tent. It's a shame. Well, there you go. Well, last week it was uh, some sunshine, but I was at work, so what can you do? There's a wee weather window today, rain in the morning. So, uh, go for it. There we go. I want to come back up here now after this because we ain't going to get a sunrise in the morning. Come back down there, pick the bag up, we'll get back down to the tent. Catch you in a while. Well, that's where you work my way back to the tent. Got a song for this one. Giant steps are what you take walking on the moon. Get back before it gets dark. Pretty dark already. I'm you know, just uh, over these set of rocks over the top here. Come back to the tent.
you know lit up as much as that. It's really lights up. It's cool that. Right, I'm gonna get myself in. Actually I'm gonna have a coffee. That's me hitting the sack. It's 10 o'clock, been dark for about an hour now. Uh, I'm gonna leave that wee vent open up there. Just leave it unzipped a bit, to let a bit of moisture out. It's okay, it's one more ten. I'll get everything in it. Back sits, back sits down the bottom. Machines. It's not like leaving stuff outside. It's a damp up in Scotland, you can't leave stuff outside. Uh, got my phone on charge. Got a wee brick. That's the smallest one. I've got a bigger one, but... I don't know, it's handy because you have charged loads of things, but I've bought more batteries, so keep them a spare. Yeah, everything's good. Got a wee X bed pillow. It's supposed to pump up your bag as well, but your pad, but you can either use your hands to pump it up or you can use that, but I find it easier with the hands. It's not a bad wee pillow. Well, if I tell you in the morning if it's a good pillow or not. But aye, right, that's it. I hope it's not too windy tonight. Snug as a bug in a rug. Anyway, we'll see you in the morning. Over and out. Bye for now. I was awake at one with the wind. It's now uh, half past four. So the rain, the rain that was expected is here. So it's blown a hurley. Pitch black outside. I don't think I'll bother getting up here. I think I'll just try and get a bit of light here first. Get a coffee, get a drink, and then try and get free camp. The uh, tent stood up so far. It's been quite some high gusts. Oh, not the best night's sleep. But it's still standing, that's the main thing, I'm dry. Oh man. This is wild, this is wild. Alright, quarter past five, got coffee on. I've you know, got me porridge. A bit bleak outside, I'll show you in a meanwhile. Still just beating away nicely in the small wee porch I've got on this. I can make a porch bigger by bringing the ground sheet in. It's got a little trick up its sleeve, this tent. It's a helium F10 UL1. It's flappy, but I don't know, at least it's still up to it and it's dry. I'll put the inner in the rucksack and put the outer stuff in the outside bit in the mesh pocket. The inner's pretty dry. I don't want too much stuff on the outside of my uh, rucksack because I want to put my rain cover on. I don't think it'll fit with, that, with everything on the outside. Well, it looks like I'm coming up for brewing, so I'm going to have my coffee and I'll bring you back. Well, that's me packed up, packed tent up. It was so windy, man, up there in the rain. That's me uh, coming off this ridge now. Just work, work my way down here into the abyss. There's a ridge there somewhere, believe me. So I'll get myself down here. If it eases off a little bit, I'll bring you back, but if not, I'll leave a little wee note on the end of the video. I've got to get down here, I'll have to put you away. Aye, it's abysmal. I knew it would be. Not to see a thing. Okay, okay. Bye for now. Still working way along the ridge. Just about to go over the first one I went up last night, or yesterday afternoon. Views to die for. Still working way along the ridge. I'm getting myself up there. That's the first one I did yesterday. Get myself up there. I'm just start dropping down. 
April, man. Oh, for first sunrise in the morning now, but it was all right, it was good. I was some, I could hear a deer up there. I was some blooming fun taking that tent down the wind. Jesus Christ, we want to blow away. I can hear a deer. Bring it back a little bit. Right, back to the first summer I climbed yesterday. God, that was scary, that, this wind's bad. Oh, it was a gust there, I thought I was going to get blown off. It's well gusty. So I've just got to get myself off here now. Make sure I find the right path. It's bad! <laughs> Well, now you're back to the top ski centre. That's a dodgy old bridge, eh? No, you better get going. Keep going. Doing good. That's me now, back in the car. So I'm on the front there with the two trams and stuff. Come down the old cycle track. My God, who, who rides a bike down here? It must be mad. Well, I was just approving another ticket to kill the car, walk back down. Didn't bring it. But anyway, I want to get back to the car, just get myself home and thanks for watching. <laughs>